Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surabhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 18th of December. India's top court refuses to stop implementation of citizenship law. Pakistan government to back Musharraf in appeal against death sentence. And UNICEF reveals nine children killed or maimed daily in Afghanistan. And now for all the details. India's top court refused to stall a new religion-based citizenship law on Wednesday that has prompted protests across the country. The Citizenship Amendment Act gives non-Muslim minorities from neighboring Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan a path to Indian citizenship. India's Supreme Court on Wednesday refused to stall the implementation of the Citizenship Amendment Act that lays out a path for non-Muslim minorities from three neighbouring countries for Indian citizenship, despite protests across the country. The top court said it would hear petitions challenging the law on January 22, while refusing a stay to the act, saying it has not been completely implemented yet and some guidelines were needed. The petitioners argue that the act violates India's secular constitution as it does not include Muslims. Court ने notice issue किया है. Court ने फिलहाल उसमें stay देने से इनकार इसलिए क्यों किया है क्योंकि ये act वो पूरी तरह से लागू नहीं हुआ है. Act को लागू करने के लिए rules लाना पड़ेगा. Rules जब तक नहीं आएंगे तब तक act पूरी तरह से implement नहीं हो सकता है. इस बात को लेके जब Supreme Court ने अपना वक्तव्य जाहिर किया तो अटॉर्नी जनरल ने खुद बोला है कि वो रूल्स फ्रेम करेंगे और हर लीडिंग न्यूज़पेपर में उसको छापेंगे जिससे कि आम जनता का प्रतिक्रिया उससे समझा जाए प्रोटेस्ट्स अगेंस्ट द लॉ व्हिच फर्स्ट इरप्टेड इन नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न इंडिया लास्ट वीक हैव सिंस स्प्रेड टू यूनिवर्सिटीज अक्रॉस द कंट्री वेयर स्टूडेंट्स एंड द पब्लिक हैव कम आउट टू कॉल द लॉ एंटी मुस्लिम एंड एंटी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन in India's northeast and other provinces bordering Bangladesh, people are upset over the impact that a large influx of migrants is having on the society and the pressure it places on their land. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said the new law is meant to help minority groups facing persecution in the neighboring Muslim majority countries and has denied any religious bias. India's Supreme Court on Wednesday also rejected the review petition of one of the four convicts in the 2012 Delhi gang rape and murder case. Later in the day, a new Delhi court directed jail authorities to issue a fresh notice for one week to the convicts as to whether they want to file mercy petitions. India's Supreme Court on Wednesday rejected the review petition of Akshay Kumar Singh one of the four men convicted in the gang rape and murder of a 23-year-old paramedical student in 2012. Singh had sought review of his death penalty and filed the petition, saying life in Delhi is being shortened anyway due to the rising air pollution. Later in the day, a Delhi court also heard a petition seeking issuance of death warrants against the four convicts and directed the hard jail authorities to issue a fresh notice for one week to the convicts as to whether they want to file mercy petitions. Next date of hearing in the case is January 7th. This is jail authority for a notice the convict ko in seven days and reply will be given to the next case on January 7th. The gang rape and murder on 16 December in 2012 triggered major public protests all over India, urging government to take strict action against six men arrested in connection with the crime. Other than the four convicted men, two others were also accused of committing the crime. However, 
Ram Singh, the prime accused, committed suicide in Tihar jail during the trial and another, who was a minor at the time of the commission of the crime, was sent to a reform facility. In news from Pakistan, former President Pervez Musharraf was handed death sentence in absentia by the Supreme Court and not given the right of fair trial, Pakistan's Attorney General Anwar Mansoor said on Tuesday. He said he will defend the former military ruler during the hearing of an appeal to be filed on his behalf. Pakistan's Attorney General Anwar Mansoor on Tuesday said former President Parvez Musharraf had not been given the right of fair trial in the high treason case against him, as the death sentence handed to him by a special court was announced in his absentia. The ruling Pakistan Tehreek in Saf government on Tuesday said it will defend self-exiled ailing ex-president Musharraf during the hearing of an appeal to be filed on his behalf. The attorney general said he will defend the law in the case but not any individual as Musharraf was not given a chance to record his statement under article 342 of the constitution. Musharraf was sentenced to death on Tuesday on charges of high treason for suspending the constitution and declaring an emergency in 2007, a punishable offence for which he was indicted in 2014. case the case the case case the case on the advice of Prime Minister or with the consultation of everybody, all the stakeholders. 76-year-old Musharraf has been living in Dubai since March 2016, citing health reasons. He can now appeal the verdict in the Supreme Court. If the top court upholds the special court's verdict, the president possesses the constitutional authority under Article 45 to pardon a death row defendant. Moving on. In a recent turn of events in Gilgit Baltistan, Awami Action Committee raised concerns over the issue of rights of local workers and other concerns of the public in the illegally occupied territory. The committee warned Pakistan against a simmering protest. Chairman of Awami Action Committee in Gilgit Baltistan, Sultan Rais, recently raised a number of pressing issues related to rights of local workers and continuous exploitation of local residents by Pakistan's inefficient and illegal administration. Sultan Rais said local domicile holders of Gilgit Baltistan have the first right to get government jobs in the region, but they are deprived of their rights. Instead, employees from other areas are posted in the illegally occupied territory. He said it is ironic that the indigenous people of Gilgit Baldistan are not part of any policy making procedures in their own homeland. Rais also blamed that all the sweats of lands were acquired from the locals in the name of development, they have not received any compensation yet. He alleged that the Pakistani authorities have done nothing except plundering their resources and the region has become backward due to Islamabad's draconian laws and policies. The 40-year-long conflict in Afghanistan is having a devastating impact on children and parties are failing in their duties to shield them from its consequences, a UNICEF report has revealed. The recent report said an average of nine children were killed or maimed every day in the country in the first nine months of 2019. A recent report by the United Nations Children's Fund, or UNICEF, has revealed that an average of nine children were killed or maimed every day in Afghanistan in the first nine months of 2019. The report released on Tuesday said in the first three quarters of 2019, 631 children were killed and another 1,830 were injured in the conflict in the country. 
The study further asserted the killings of children were largely due to a surge in suicide bomb attacks and ground engagements between pro- and anti-government forces. According to UNICEF, 3.8 million children need humanitarian assistance. It also noted that one in three girls marries before her 18th birthday and 3.7 million school-aged children are out of school and 600,000 children under the age of five are severely malnourished in Afghanistan. Working through partners, UNICEF in the country is providing treatment to 277,000 severely malnourished children. But the program needs to be substantially scaled up if another 300,000 children in need are to be reached. In news from Bangladesh, Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said that the conspiracies of collaborators of the Pakistani occupation forces and those who still love Pakistan are out to foil her country's hard-earned independence, but they will never succeed. Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has alerted the countryman about conspiracies of the anti-liberation forces to turn the country into a failed state, asserting that the plots of the Pakistan lovers will never be successful. The Prime Minister, while speaking at an event to mark the country's 49th Victory Day from Pakistan, said that Bangladesh fought and won the liberation war against Pakistan and the goal was to remain above Pakistan anyhow on all sides, including economic, social and cultural fronts. Hasina went on saying Bangladesh is in a better position than everybody else and must keep up this success. Bangladesh was born as an independent country on December 16 in 1971 after the Pakistani occupation forces surrendered. Imbued with the spirit of independence every year, government political, social and cultural organizations in the country draw elaborate programs including discussions, rallies, processions and cultural events to celebrate the victory of the nine-month war. Special prayers were also offered in mosques, temples and other places of worship for the departed souls and country's peace, progress and prosperity on the occasion. As Christmas is just around the corner, an annual cake show in India's Bengaluru city is displaying around 23 cake models, including St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow and India's space mission Chandrayaan 2 this time. The visitors to show have been enjoying the different models and flavors of the cakes at the event. Residents in India's southern Bengaluru city on Tuesday trunk an annual cake show organized ahead of the festival of Christmas. The famous cake show in the city has put around 23 cake models on display including St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow and India's space mission Chandrayaan-2. This time, the visitors were seen highly impressed by the detailing of cakes also showing Kathakali dancer and Hindu gods. It's very, very interesting to see the various decorations and displays and entertaining for the kids. And I'm going to enjoy the flavors, all different, uh, you know, uh, ice cream and cake. This time the Kathakali is very nice, one of the things of Karnataka and this Karnataka depicted also, Basilica Church. Every year they change the themes, but every year it is worth coming here once. Christians form less than 3% of India's more than 1 billion population, but Christmas is now widely celebrated in metros and other big cities with much pomp, gaiety and devotion. The annual cake show in Bengaluru will continue till January 1st this time. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. India's top court refuses to stop implementation of citizenship law. Pakistan government to back Musharraf in appeal against death sentence. And UNICEF reveals nine children killed or maimed daily in Afghanistan. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline. And follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.